global market itself is about 200 billion in terms of the retail sales. But purely from the export perspective, Malaysia, with 75 manufacturers, I'm one of the manufacturers, we churned out close to about 70 to 75 billion in terms of revenue for the country. The only thing is, the only thing is the fact that of these 75 manufacturers, there are two Tamilians, and the rest are all Chinese ethnic Malaysians. Right? So we have broken through into that, uh, and now I think it's time for us to share. And there's a great opportunity to share this, and I'll tell you why. I run another company as a consultancy company where we do glove facility set up in all over the world. We've done close to about 15 different countries. But sadly, none of them comes from the channels. We export our gloves to 194 countries. The only country we don't export is Israel. We're not allowed to do so in Malaysia, right? But nevertheless, 194 countries. And whatever that's produced, 100% in Malaysia is for export. So we have now honed this skill of how do we do this? We're getting inquiries after the COVID situation. Every country is asking us, can you set up a plan for us? And I want to open this up to our tunnels here. You be the front runner of such kind of moves. And we are here to help you. So this is one area I think we can all work together. If I want to give something to somebody, share my intellectual property with somebody, I might as well do it with someone whom I'm culturally connected, language-wise connected. That's right. The other area which we'd like to look at is greening mother nature. We spoke about organic farming and so forth. Here is another opportunity. In solving a problem for humanity in terms of PPE, we have created another problem in terms of what do we do with the used PPE. For every single second, every single second, 14,500 gloves are being thrown away. Every single second, 14,500 gloves are being thrown away. It is getting into landfill, it is getting into incinerator, both of which is not good. Landfill creates leaching and, and, and you know, contaminating water table, and incineration adds on to the carbon index. What can we do? Ten years back, Ten years back, we started a reclaim project, just as a passion. This so-called, let me say, mother nature kind of thing. You know? Yeah, started as a passion, and today it's a thriving business where we have been able to take the waste, pull out the rubber by a proprietary method, and we've got patents for that, and use that rubber to produce other rubber products. We are now manufacturing industrial tires for regional distribution within Malaysia itself. This is from entirely green. And I tell you, in every single country, there are used tires lying around doing nothing. People are scratching their head, what do we do with this? And this is one opportunity where we can actually set up satellite facilities in all the various countries and teach them how you can now take this in and recycle it and produce something in terms of rubber. It could be an industrial tire, it could be a forklift truck tire, and so forth. And that is an opportunity. In waste, there is money. In solving waste, we are actually greening Mother Earth. And this is another great opportunity, which again, we are willing to share for our I am the president of the Malaysian Rubber Glove Manufacturers, who supplies 67%. 67% of the global demand. So if you talk about 100 pieces of gloves all over the world, 67 gloves come from Malaysia. This is created by the 70 to 75 manufacturers in Malaysia. Now we are ready to get on to other countries out there. So uh, please uh, be sure that we can work through the platforms of price. We can work through the consultancy situations. We have financial backing in terms of London and so forth. Uh, uh, we have got the uh, right kind of intellectual uh, people here in terms of systems, management and so forth. It's a question of putting it together. For too long a time, I think Tamils have worked in silos. So we have brilliant Tamils all over the world, but all in silos. Now, when you break down these silos and we start putting hands together, 
I think we are destined for the kind of uh, scenario which Father has painted this morning. A globally intellectual Tamilians who will now rule this world. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you.